Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dustrick Path of One, and today I'm going to go over some new information and screenshots we've gotten for Atlas. Now we have two screenshots to go over, which I'm going to do after these posts. There's also a soundtrack and a song from the game, basically, you can listen to as well. This is on the official Atlas Discord in the Atlas News. If you need any news or, you know, you've been told someone by some other that there's like leaks or that there's new information always check here it's always going to pretty much be here first so just check here and if it's not here it's probably not official or confirmed yet so the first first post is Atlas will be launching on friday the 21st of 2000 of december 2018 which i think he's just trying to reconfirm this because he said it multiple times um so they are trying to reconfirm it um, but you know it's been delayed twice so really who knows when we have a precise time window we'll let you know here and over our social media pages for those wondering our studio is based in seattle washington so it's still thursday afternoon here sorry for the wait and then basically they're just happy to get everybody into the game as quick as they can um now they are in seattle which is three hours before eastern time and it's 12 30 eastern time right now um and that'll come into play with this next post so we will have some streamers getting into the game before the official launch tomorrow. It'll be a staggered invite, so we bring in groups of people at a time, allowing us to monitor the effects on our server nodes. This will be playing, they will be playing on a special branch, which won't carry over to launch, none of their progress is saving. Invites are handled via Reverb, Reverb Games, so if you're signed in, or if you're signed up as a content creator, you have a chance for, at receiving one. They'll continue to go out over the night and then tomorrow as we get closer to launch. When we're satisfied with the stability and assuming all our other ducks are in order, we'll officially be releasing the title on the Steam Early Access. So basically they're just saying right here that they will be giving streamers and content creators, I'm assuming streamers first, kind of early access to a not permanent build. They won't be having everything, anything saved. Um, so basically what they're trying to do here is um, send out invites to these people to basically stress test the servers more. Now they are able to, and even another post from Jat, they are still able to test you know, the stress on servers um, with like automated tests and stuff like that. But it's n automated tests and stuff like that are never going to completely replicate how humans work and how they're going to be playing the game and how they're going to be stressing the servers doing different things so they're doing this the invite should probably start to be going out soon as i said seattle was three hours ahead or before my time which is 12 30 right now um so they're at like 9 30 um so i'd assume invites should start be going out now probably for the first stages so people should be starting a stream at at some time soon um but the game they're going to be stress testing the servers so this means basically since they don't have a time and since they're doing this that they could be releasing the game fully at any time tomorrow basically if you know they invite tons of people and the servers are doing completely fine they could probably release it earlier than they thought most people are saying that the game probably will release at 6 p.m um which is the eastern time which is the same time it was supposed to release um, on the 19th, which would make sense, but we really don't know a time right now. Um, I just want to go over that information just to kind of give you guys the actual confirmed official information that we have on the release and streamer codes and stuff going out. Um, if you are a content creator, I do already have my account verified on Keymailer, which is what gives out the codes from the studios. Um, and I've had a key requested for like two weeks or something like that since you first were able to. I'm assuming they're going to be giving keys randomly to streamers first so they're able to stream it. But I'm not 100% certain on that. I assume like people who do YouTube and stuff like that will be later on. Um, but so now we just go into the screenshots. The first one is a cannoneer does direct battle with a legendary ghost ship after tracking its progress across the ocean for days to witness its rare appearance. Now, we've seen the ghost ship in the trailers and stuff, but we never got like an explanation. So basically it's saying it's a legendary ghost ship, which may mean there's other versions of ghost ships, which maybe aren't higher versions and maybe a legendary version possibly will give i'm assuming it will give good loot but maybe this could possibly be that they're saying there's legendary items in the game 
which would go along with a lot of other MMOs. There are, you know, super high tier legendary stuff, and that they're having to track this thing across the ocean um, to be able to get a rare appearance of it to basically fight it, to probably kill it, to get loot, which is honestly pretty cool. Um, in the image, we don't see really anything we haven't seen. It's just shooting a cannon at the ghost ship um, and fighting it, which is pretty cool. So what I'm thinking, this is probably some type of rare um, that'll give really good loot. Um, and that's pretty cool that there will be systems like that in the game, that there will be possible rares, um, possibly different variations or difficulties to these rares. So this is a legendary, maybe it's, a, maybe it's the highest version that gives possibly a legendary. Um, that's, you know, just all theory. We don't exactly know, but it does seem to be another more end game system being able to search down these possible other rares and at minimum this legendary rare ghost ship. So next, it's a group of travelers take a break aboard a roaming NPC merchant trade ship to do some business with the pilot and relax while and relax while their weary bones. I don't actually, I think this probably wasn't finished, but basically this is showing that this is what this is telling us. I don't think we've seen a ship look like this before with the wheels on the side. I don't actually know what those are called, um, but this seems to be from the description, a merchant ship that you're able to actually get on and travel with and most likely maybe trade with. Um, with the merchants on the ship maybe maybe be able to store stuff on it maybe be able to you know give them your goods to transport um there's a bunch of pop possibilities that could happen with a merchant trade ship that you're also able to ride and interact with the um merchants and the npcs on the boat which is pretty cool this could be a ton of different stuff maybe you're able to attack these and you know destroy the ships and take all the loot they have so all the stuff they're transferring there's a bunch of possibilities with this that have you know kind of really cool possibilities um especially them being just trade ships that you know are always going through different seaports maybe you can transport large amounts of resources on these merchant ships um to you know you know a different port or a different base or something like that so a ton of possibilities but that's basically all i wanted to talk about today um subscribe if you want to see more atlas content gonna be getting content out in game as soon as possible hopefully i'll get a key but i'm not really holding out for that um like the video if you like it leave a comment down below what you think about all this information and thanks for watching